Kate Storrs with Aldi Books. So running through all of the videos that I've been needing to make all week and just not getting around to for, you know, but um, this is my January book haul, a really fun stack of reads that I want to share with you. And yeah, hopefully I can get several videos made on my three day weekend so that I can, you know, carry the video posting memento momentum through the week. Anyway, let me just be quiet, not be quiet, but let me just stop rambling and get to the books. So first up, Hey Bert by Roberto Pastore. Yes, this is a poetry collection from our very own Bert from Pastore Time. And I hear great things about it and I'm super excited to dive in, maybe today. This weekend, definitely though. And then I have the next two installments of the Faber Stories. This is their third release, I guess. Um, so 10 more of these. I think Sean and I are gonna go ahead with it. You know, we debated, but because, like we started off strong and then it seemed like the end of the year they were all kind of blah for blah blah what is that blah for the most part um but i just couldn't re resist my words my tongue I'll slow down okay i just couldn't resist because um barbara king solver hello <laughs> i'm not gonna not buy that one and then um Juno Diaz, The Cheater's Guide to Love. A lot of these um, 10 that were just released last October are um, diverse authors. So really excited to see that and want to, you know, just give them a whirl. So I think uh, I'm going to film a, another video to send to Sean today and gets back on our little conversation series with those. So then my next German read for the German readathon hosted by Mel and Britta is River by Esther Kinski, translated by Ian Galbraith. This one um, is the group read, so that's why I went ahead and got it for February. So I'm going to dive into that soon-ish. And then um, Heavy, an American memoir by Kisa Lehman. I just have heard great things about this for a while now. And I forget who held this one up, but I just was really pulled in by the color combination on the paperback. I can't help it. I'm a sucker for covers. I typically don't like um, stacked titles like this, but... This one really spoke with the, the title itself and the layout design. Um, so yeah, yep. And this will be a good read for Black History Month. And then um, I finally got Aya, Life in Yop City by Marguerite Abouet. And I think, oh, that's the illustrator, I believe. Clement O'Brary, and then the translator would be, this is originally written in French, so, oh, it's a graphic novel, by the way, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that, uh, yeah, but I, I have been wanting this one for quite a while now. So I'm excited to get it. And yeah. Um, this is my translated work for the month along with the German one. I've been trying to make um, a German translated and just another second translated uh, purchase each month so I can Make sure I get a lot of translated reads in, in 2020. And then I have Good Talk, a memoir and conversations by Mira Jacob. Another memoir. 
This one is kind of very stylized. And I have heard just amazing things about this one. And I think I was supposed to buddy read that with somebody last year to somebody's, but they got to it before me. So gotta get caught up here. And then um, Stephanie from Time to Read has come up with a really fun year long project in which we're going to read from a different indie press each month. And then on the last day of the month, we will all post video reviews of the books that we read from that indie press. So it will be hashtag Indie Press Project. If you want to join in, the uh, first month of so February is Tin House Press and The Magical Language of Others by E.J. Co. Right up my alley. I'm an ESL student and so um, these types of stories, immigrant stories, really resonate with me and I've just heard fabulous things. Mel. Um, from Mel's Bookland Adventures. Loved this one. So very excited to get it read and I will be posting a review on February 29th and if anyone would like to join us you can read a book by Tin House Press and post your review. I will also be adding Bitter Orange to that review post because I happen to have that one from Tin House as well. So there's that. And then I got a couple from Thrift Books. I got Toni Morrison's Sula. Um, this is Hannah from, I will have to link her below. I don't remember the rest of her channel name, but she is hosting a year long Toni Morrison read along. And so I had already read The Bluest Eye last year. So I'm joining in, they're reading them in publication order. I join, I'm joining in in February with Sula and I'm planning on trying to keep up for the first quarter because my goal this year is to read, to get through the first four Toni Morrison books. So I will join in with that readathon uh, this beginning of 2020 with Sula. And then another buddy read with uh, Joe Smith and Charlotte from Tired Mama Tries to Read is Wendell Berry's The Memory of Old Jack. I know absolutely nothing about this book and this author, but Joe and Charlotte are reading it with me and that's all I care about. But I'm sure it'll be fabulous. Looking forward to that. And then uh, finally, I have a pre-order. Oh, so excited. I've decided after reading Himself by Jess Kidd that I am going to love everything that Jess Kidd writes. I just, I have that feeling. Therefore, I need to be a Jess Kidd completist, so. I have been waiting on this one. It came out in the UK last year, um, but US covers have been really stepping it up. So I've waited for this cover and I'm also going to buy um, Hoarders, which I think it's Hoarders. Um, it's Mr. Flood something or other, Penumbria, I don't know. It's some long title in the US, but it's the paperback has a cat on the cover. So I need that one too. Anyway, I'm going to buy that one for my birthday, whatever it is. But this one just came in the mail. Things in Jars by Jess Kidd. And look, is that not stunning? Oh, yeah, I'm so happy. But very excited to get to my second Jess Kidd that I know I'm going to love. So that's it. Um, stay tuned for whatever other videos that I think I need to film today and release this week. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.